we doing today? My name is Dave Brown. That's Alan <laughs> Higgins from Federal Resources. We're here at the Guardian Center with the Gemini. Uh, the first iteration of what we showed you was point and shoot and now we're going to go into vial mode and show you some techniques with that because there's misconceptions that more is better when it comes to shooting in or doing vial mode. I fucked that all up. Don't worry about it. We'll, all right. We can edit we, it. Out. Yeah, we can edit it. We've discussed safe sampling as it pertains to point and shoot and that size does matter. Size matters in vial mode as well. And what we're going to show you is that uh, you can put too much in these vials. I know what the, the training says. It comes out of uh, certain entities within DOD that says you will go to vial mode first. And that's, that's, a, bad, uh, that's a bad idea. And we're going to show you why. why. I'm going to put this amount of an unknown substance into the Gemini. Okay. Do we have to go slow-mo? Matrix. All right, so we're going to put this unknown material in the Gemini. And this, again, we're in the vial mode here. We're using Ramon, not FTIR, obviously. We're going to select Ramon. I'm going to give myself uh, a little 15-second scan delay, I think, just to give me little bit of time to walk away from this thing. And I'm going to hit scan. It's going to count down. You're going to want to back away there. Okay, the white shot out. Yep. As it counts down, when it gets to zero, it's going to start hitting that uh, unknown material with the laser. Okay. So, one thing we should discuss real quick, as I've seen this time and time again, when people run in vial mode, they put the vial in there, and this is how they operate the instrument. So with the amount of energy you saw uh, escaping from that vial, if I had this instrument in front of me, I would, I would take all of that energy to the face. We don't want that. So what I was proving with that is that's way too much uh, material in the vial. All we need is a tiny bit of material in the vial. Let's see if I have one that has, that's more than enough in a vial. Okay, all you need is a couple grains. If you can get that laser on a couple grains of that powder, that's all you need. And what happens if you put a cap on it? Great question. If you put a cap on there, you notice that we shot that uh, vial with the cap off. That is to give all those gases a chance to escape so we don't fracture or cause a mechanical detonation. If we do put the cap on, we've got a pipe bomb, okay? And it does a lot of damage to your equipment. Now, the two examples that I've given in point and shoot and in vial, I don't want you to walk away from here thinking that this instrument detonates anything and everything it scans. It does not. It is, I think, one of the preeminent uh, spectrometers in the world, and that's why we use it so much. And with that, Dave, any comments? No comments. No comments? We'll be moving on to the next segment. Or is yeah, there we'll, else yeah you well, we'll cover uh, another type of spectrometer. Or did you want something else? Nope. Was I supposed to make a comment? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you going to stay, stay classy or some shit like that? I'm going nonverbal. Oh, okay. <laughs>